Hello everyone, Misa with Misa's Mobile Detailing once again. Uh, today we have something different. Today we are going to do a ceramic coating on this boat right here. Uh, so we're just gonna show the process, the cleanup is gonna have an interior detail as well. Uh, so I'm really excited about this boat. Uh, so let's just get it done and let's get started. So to get started, we did a little rinse on the whole boat. We rinsed the cover, we rinsed the outside of the boat. Then after we did this, we moved to the inside of the boat as we were gonna do an interior detail as well. So that's the process to get started. So before, before I continue, I wanna show you uh, what the boat looks like. It's a little muddy. It's a little algae that grew on the boat. That's some oxidation and dirt. Um, the gel is not in a really bad shape, but that's more underneath. So here I wanted to show you how pressure alone is not going to clean the bottom of the boat. In this case, we use an acid-based cleaner. We spray it, then we let it dwell for about 30 seconds, and then we rinse it off. With this, you gotta make sure that it doesn't dry on the gel coat, it's so wet, so you can just mist it every now and then. And then whenever it's been 30, 45 seconds, then you can start rinsing it off. Right here, you see me doing the rinse off after we spray it, and you can see how easy it's coming off. All right, so we watched, watched the outside. As you can see, that's a lot of work that needs to be done before applying the ceramic coating. Uh, it's a little few scratches here and there, but overall, like, just oxidizing. This is not coming off. It's not like dirt. It's just oxidizing, a bunch of water spots and stuff. But this is what we got. We have, like, this part that faded i don't know if it's a scratch or what it is but we'll we'll take it care of, uh get it taken care of so what we got so far and then the bottom bottom is nice again so bottom is ready to coat just need to work on the top part and we could have got to start coating so this is what the boat looked like before detailing it uh that's a bunch of uh dust and debris and a bunch of stuff on the floor and too. We're gonna remove this carpet right here and clean it underneath too. There's a So today's a different day, it's been a week. Uh, last week we tried to just buff it off and some oxidation wasn't coming off uh, from the boat. So we started wet sanding right now. We just wanna wet sand all of the, this part right here where we're having a lot of oxidation issues. Um, we are using our fourth uh, orbital polisher with a thousand grit uh, sanding paper. Uh, I'm gonna put all the products in the description uh, either at the end of the video or uh, I'll put the link uh, down below. For the wet sanding process, we did, did one with 1,000 and then 2,000 grit. We did three passes each. The first pass was side to side. 
the second pass was top to bottom and then the third one was side to side we we're aiming for consistency throughout the gel coat and just taking our time making sure that it wasn't rushed and we were doing the best that we could so, so here's the main reason why I had to uh, send paper I mean yeah send paper send everything uh, because this scratch right here I haven't even touched this part right here it was already like that um, and as you can see it's not getting removed or it's not like dirty Right here after we did the sanding, I did a test spot with heavy cutting, medium cutting, and finishing with the polish and see what the bow was gonna look like. For the heavy cutting process, we did three passes. We did side to side, top to bottom, and side to side. The first speed, which was the first pass, we did it at 600 RPM. Then for the second pass, we did it at 1100 RPM and then we move to 16 RPM for the last pass. For the medium cutting, we use a yellow pad. We use the speeds at 900 for the first pass, then 1600 for the second pass, and 2100 RPM for the third pass. We didn't record a video with a yellow pad, but it was the same process side to side, top to bottom, and side to side. And then as a third step, after the wet sanding, we did the polishing. With the polishing, we removed all the holograms and tiny scratches that the last two pads left on the gel coat. Then we moved to our final wash. The final wash, we want to clean all of the compounds and all the residues left behind uh, when we were wet sanding. We want to make sure also that we remove all of the waxes and silicones that were on the compound. We just want to make sure that the gel coat is bare, ready to apply the ceramic coating, because we don't want to coat on top of a wax or on top of something that is not the gel coat alone. For our ceramic coating, we used a coating that is rated for about four years with proper maintenance. So we just let it cure on the gel coat for about a minute and 30 seconds. And then we wiped it off and leveled the coating. So I am pretty much done um, with the boat. It took me, whew, took me about like 20 hours total doing the inside and the outside. Um, so, it was, it was my first time doing um, wet sanding on a boat. Uh, it was pretty easy, uh, it just took time. The process was a little longer, but um, it was fun. And I enjoyed the results. So um, if you liked the video, uh, subscribe, like, share with your friends. Have any questions, just ask us uh, down below. Um, but here are some shots. Uh, with the after. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you in the next video.